So we're going to get started in our CISSP training class uh, by starting with domain number one, uh, security and risk management. In this domain, we are going to be discussing several different topics. Uh, what are frameworks? Uh, frameworks are uh, either guidelines or guidance documents that allow us to identify what our security posture is going to be within an organization. What kind of standards are we going to establish within that organization to protect our information assets? But that protection includes several different things like classifying the data, identifying the owners of that information, what the roles and responsibilities of those individuals are, et cetera, et cetera. We'll also take a look at different risk management concepts uh, of different governance concepts uh, that guide our business decisions on how to protect information assets in our organization. What are different administrative, technical, and physical controls? Uh, how do we define what an administrative control is, what a technical control is, what a physical control is? How do we protect for CIA, right? What is confidentiality? Uh, not only from the perspective of, you know, data. Uh, a lot of people that come into this course come in from an IT space or an IT background. So they tend to apply a lot of these concepts to, you know, the things they understand, which is, in, in essence, data, right? Uh, whether it's data in motion or data at rest. But keep in mind, uh, not only for the exam, but as we go through this class, that we are talking about all forms of assets, physical assets like uh, physical property, uh, uh, in intellectual assets like intellectual property, uh, personally identifiable information, individuals themselves, uh, uh, life safety concepts, everything that we discuss with regard to confidentiality, excuse me, integrity and availability is going to apply to all types of assets to the organization. What are the policies or what are the procedures? What are the standards? What are the baselines and what are the guidelines that we're going to apply uh, to be able to uh, either apply these frameworks or policies uh, for the ultimate goal of protecting our assets? Uh, what is the difference between a standard and a baseline and a guideline, right? We'll get into the details of that. Uh, a big part of this particular domain is also discussing things like what is a risk assessment? What is a quantitative risk assessment versus what is a qualitative risk assessment? How do I perform risk analysis within my organization? What are the concepts and terms and key elements of risk analysis within the organization? Uh, also, how do we classify the data within our organization? Uh, how do we ensure that the individuals within the organization understand what our security posture is? Uh, how do we apply the, uh, uh, these, these principles and policies? How do we make people aware of these principles and policies and so on? We will also talk about things like what is a business continuity plan versus what is a disaster recovery plan? How do we prepare uh, and process those, uh, that functionality? Uh, what are the practices that we, that we implement to mitigate damages and restore operations within our organization in the event of an issue. Uh, there is a difference between a BCP and a, B, uh, a DRP. Uh, a business continuity could apply to many, many different facets of the organization. Disaster recovery tends to apply more specifically to uh, catastrophic events that might occur, particularly related to natural disasters and so on. So we will talk about these topics in the domain. Some additional topics that we're going to discuss, again, the CIA triad, uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Uh, what are different security governance principles? How do we apply those security governance principles to our organization? Uh, what are concepts of compliance? Compliance may be based on a regulatory domain. Are we a healthcare organization? Are we a financial institution? Are we a government agency? We have different compliance standards that apply in those different organizations. Uh, what are legal and regulatory issues that we may face uh, within our business unit or business sector? 
Uh, what are our documented security policies? What are the standards? What are the procedures? What are the guidelines that we're going to implement to ensure that we have a complete and robust, uh, uh, you know, standard uh, that we've applied in our organization? What are business continuity requirements, personnel security policies, uh, different uh, risk management concepts? Uh, risk management concepts include things like risk avoidance, risk transference, risk acceptance, risk mitigation. Uh, we'll talk about different controls also that allow us to uh, achieve those particular goals. How can we do threat modeling within our organization? What are some of the concepts of threat modeling? Uh, how do we integrate security risk uh, assessments and considerations into an acquisition strategy. Uh, acquisition strategies can include things like uh, uh, spin-offs or divestitures. Uh, it can include acquisitions or mergers, um, adding personnel, uh, removing personnel, etc. All right. And then a common element to all of this is how do we make sure that the personnel, the people, uh, all the assets and intellectual assets within our organization understand what our security posture is. How do we educate them? Because that is a key element to this, um, this idea of security. All right. So that is the introduction of the first domain. Uh, we will now get into domain number one.